The arrival of the PUP leader John Briseño for Sunday's convention was carefully choreographed so that he would be mobbed by supporters. The mood inside the auditorium at the People's Stadium was celebratory and despite a few showers and intermittent blackouts, the Orange Walk Central Standard Bearer Convention for the People's United Party went off without a hitch. I, John Briseño, I, John Briseño, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I pledge to work, that I pledge to work, for the achievement, for the achievements of the aims and objectives, of the aims and objectives, of the peaceful, constructive Belizean revolution, of the peaceful, constructive Belizean revolution. After the oath of allegiance administered by party chairman Henry Charles Usher, the rostrum was opened to selected members of what the PUP introduced on Sunday as Team 31 to address the thousands in attendance, addressing various pressing national issues such as crime and violence, the economy and unemployment. The length and breadth of this country, everybody will get a piece of land. However, however, while one orange wakenyo gave us our land, another orange wakenyo came and took it away from us. But come 2030, it will take another orange wakenyo to give our people what they rightly deserve, starting with their piece of land. Three and a half years later, under Dean Barrow and the UDP, Belize, my friends, we all know this, our country is in crisis. We are suffering from what I would call economic depression under Barrow and political repression under Barrow. Economic depression, political repression. In other words, with people down, they down there already. The cost of living down gone sky high, unbearable for most of the people. Unemployment is at 24 percent. Poverty is growing over 40 percent. So the people are down already, e economic depression, they can't pay the school bill for the children, people can't pay their light bill and water bill, people can't pay their rent, people are suffering under this UDP government, like never before. When it was his turn to take to the podium, John Briseño told the party faithful that he is ready to lead the PUP back to victory at the polls in the next general elections, a feat which he promises will bring to an end the reign of lies, nepotism and vindictiveness of the Barrow administration. The Ian Barrow and the UDP are destroying our country and we must no longer stand by and watch this recklessness, this mismanagement and this incompetence to continue. We have to fight back. You and I know that we live in a beautiful country. You and I know that, be that the Belizean spirit that burns inside all of us is built in the idea of freedom, respect of human life, and sincere concern for others. My fellow members of Team Belize, our work is to bring an end to the crisis created by the incompetent UDP, to restore confidence in our economy, and to put Belizeans back to work, and to work to get rid of the moral and the UDP. My friends, we have to put Belize back to work again. Because we can believe again. Believe in a people's united party. So, we in the PUP, we never give up. We stand up and we fight. We stand up and we fight. So, hope lives. Hope lives once again for a people's united party.
And so the People's United Party left the auditorium at the People's Stadium on Sunday, energized for the long march, which they say will lead them to the seat of power in Belmopan. Reporting for Love News, I am Patrick Jones.